In this morning's Broadway and beyond, a classical musical is returning to the stage. Fiddler on the Roof in Yiddish was a big hit, selling out shows before the pandemic. In a few weeks, it's back off-Broadway. The actors tell CBS 2's Lisa Rosner the story is even more relevant now. The tune transcends time, tradition. Tradition. Rehearsals are underway for the National Yiddish Theater Folksbina's beloved off-Broadway production of Fiddler on the Roof. The production, directed by Academy Award and Tony winner Joel Gray, is back November 13th for seven weeks at New World Stages. I came and sat there, uh -huh. and they did the number for me, and I cried. What is it about it that brings you to tears? Well, it's always been about belonging or not belonging. And the world situation with the Ukraine just heightens that. Every day I think about it. Gray says he recently learned many of his relatives were from Ukraine. The musical takes place in fictional Anatevka, representing a small town near the original writer Shalom Alechem's birthplace in central Ukraine. It centers on Tevye, the milkman, and the role is being reprised by Stephen Skybell. Tevye navigates faith and family amidst a lurking danger represented by Russian soldiers who attempt to exile the Jews in the quiet community. And now to, to hear that Kiev and Odessa are in our play, we know so clearly that, it, that this story takes place in that landscape. It has meaning and relevance. My character is from Kiev. It's just an immense responsibility. The performance is fully in Yiddish, but there are subtitles on set to follow along. Getting to explore this show that's so familiar in the language that these people would have actually spoken and which Sholem Aleichem wrote the original short stories added this new layer to it that allowed us to go much deeper. For many of the people involved in putting this show together, this is a homecoming. 21 of the 25 actors were in the previous production. It's like you're a fly on the wall and like you're really seeing this culture. It makes it very uh, accessible. People have said that just hearing the Yiddish conjures up emotion for them. I took my son, who at the time was about seven years old, uh, a few years ago. You get such a different sense as to what the characters are saying and who they are when you hear what they're saying in their original language. Zach Golden, deputy Yiddish editor of The Forward, says the language is spoken by few, but interest in it is growing among Jews and non-Jews. Yiddish influencers and things like Yiddish Fiddler on the Roof have brought new audiences, both Jewish, non-Jewish, just anybody who's interested in, in something new. Lord of the Rings in Yiddish just came out. They had, had come out previously with Harry Potter in Yiddish. Maybe not everyone will engage in all at once, but it's there and it's from those building blocks you can rebuild a culture, that you can rebuild a sense of connection. Gray's father, Mickey Katz, was a comedian and musician who spoke Yiddish fluently. He does not, but that doesn't stop him or the actors from learning. And the way that Joel also uh, rehearses us, a lot of times we'll just actually do it in English and then we'll get really comfortable with the scene and with the words and then we'll add the Yiddish on top of it. You're not just learning phonetically what you're saying, you are learning word for word. This couple on stage fell in love in real life during the production's first run. Now they are husband and wife, applying the family values the show touches on into their world. I feel really honored to be welcomed into this mishpacha and uh, it's a blessing. Fiddler of Dach. In Midtown, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And again, performances begin November 13th at New World Stages. That's on West 50th Street.